How goes it all? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. I'm getting my filter squared away. Uh, anyways, today's uh, little rant, it's been a minute since I went on a rant, is the miseducation of education. Now, I've said this a thousand times, I'll say it a thousand times more. So, you know, education, K-12 through program, matter of fact, I said this last night, you know, it's changed you to have a job. And it's kind of it's kind of outdated you know, outside of, you know, just teaching people how to read, write and, you know, do specific things. Um, read, write, do math, you know, learn some history and all that good stuff, um, certain athletics. But is it really even training you for the jobs of tomorrow? You know, jobs of the future, things of that nature. Um, and even and even then, you know, today's worker doesn't need to has to have the mindset and the future workers. Let's just go from let's let's go to 2030. So from 2021 to 2030, the worker of 2021 to 2030 needs to have a mindset of uh, thinking outside of the box and never, ever depending on a specific employee, employer and whatnot to um, be the master of the future. You're the master of your future. Um, you and your spirituality, you and your family, you and how you think and what you do every single day are the masters of your future. But every day when you have a chance to do something to make yourself better. Okay. And you have to, you know, I always like to take away what Derek Grace, his uh, brand, talks about uh, unlearn, relearn. So when, if, if you grow up in the right household, and I'm talking to the people that are in high school now, that are in their early 20s, you know, try to go through the unlearn process of what your um, institution, school institutions tell you what you, what the way you need to be in life and let, because unless that person is living the lifestyle that you want to live when you, when you get in your thirties and forties and whatnot, my personal opinion, I wouldn't listen to them. Don't make the same mistakes that I made <laughs> of listening to the people that, you know, they's like, yeah, this is how you get a good job. Da, 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 da. Um, and then they, because even when I was coming up, I had a lot of, I was fortunate to have two, two aspects of the coin when it came to entrepreneurs and it came to people who, you know, were um, high paid employees. For some odd reason, I listened to the high paid employees more. I did not listen to the entrepreneur more. And that's probably because I just was, I was a little bit more lazier back then in mind, not physically lazy, but mentally lazy, not wanting to listen and think outside of the box because I was hearing, but entrepreneur standpoint, I was hearing things that were totally outside of the box from the normal from just, well, you know, if you go to college, you know, if you join the military, nothing wrong with joining the military. Um, you know, you get access to benefits, you're able to serve your country, you know, all this good stuff, you get this good training. So there's nothing wrong with that. Not knocking that at all. Um, but I but I did not want to listen to the aspects of, hey, if you invest your money, um, if you put, you know, by the time you get in your thirties, you could be in a position where you probably will never have to have any job a job again or whatnot. If you um think about buying into a specific franchise or whatnot, open getting a certain insurance policy. You can put yourself in your position, your future family in a position to where you don't have to have a job. But if you want to have a job, it's an option, you know, and I did not have that um, relearned behavior back then like I have now. And so that's why I'm talking to my folks that are in high school now, that are in college now, have that unlearned, relearned behavior to where you can take information from both sides of the fence. You know, a great example, like a lot of people who are military reservists, you know, they serve a country, but they work a job in the private sector. So they get both sides of the beautiful coin of learning how things work in the, the, the how things work in the military, the discipline and the structure of the military, how to implement things, then to get access to good benefits and whatnot that can not only give them good health benefits, but give them good um, benefits when it comes to getting housing loans, bus business loans and going to college, you know, so great benefits, things of that nature. Um, but, and, you know, possible pension in the future. So, you know, that's a great thing. But then a lot of times people... Um, on the other side of the coin, they'll work in corporate America and see how corporate America does things, or they might even own the business themselves. And, um, so they had, so, they, and they might even get access to specific contracts and whatnot with the federal government because, um, because not only are they a veteran, but they can be considered a veteran owned company. So, but it's all about wanting to listen and learn, relearn, unlearn, relearn. That's what life is really about. It's always been about that, but it's definitely about that more so now than ever before. Um, so that's why I'm saying I'm talking to my folks that are in high school, talking to my folks that are in college, because uh, don't take take education, take standardized education with a grain of salt, take entrepreneurial education with a grain of salt, because you want to be able to have your own analytical conclusions on what's not only best for you, but what's best for your current family, your future family. How do you really want to see yourself when you see when you're watching? And it's no disrespect to teachers, um, but when you're watching 
your teachers teach you specific things, look look at that person, whether it's male, female, whatever, and say, is this who I want to be when I'm um, 30 years old, 40 years old? Do I want to live the lifestyle that they're living? Do I want, do I want to have two to three jobs? You know, is there anything wrong with that? No, I had three jobs for uh, seven years. But do I want to live in the same, this specific state or this specific county? You know, think on that level outside of you just want to get an A in the class and, you know, I, I just want to get a good job and get into a career. Think outside of the box that the education system is known to put certain people in, you know, with a, with a you know, an exception for certain Ivy League schools and certain private schools. But majority of the education system is trained to put you in a box. Anything wrong with that? No, because in America, you have the opportunity to think outside of the box without being persecuted. Well, at least, you know, from a prison perspective, you know, you go to China, the guy that's the head of, uh, I think his name is Jack Ma, he just got out of pr prison. Everybody thought he was possibly dead for a while. He was uh, basically the CEO of the Amazon version of um, of China. It's called Alibaba. But he, anyway, that's neither here or there. But just, you know, the be the, the, the unlearn, relearn education is basically... Um, you have an opportunity to have your um, private banking, which you can do with whole life insurance policies. Like I said, do your research. I'm not going to tell you what to invest your money in. You have the opportunity to invest in the stock market and cryptocurrency. You have the opportunity to buy real estate, especially when you're in your early 20s before you have a family. Think about, you know, look into, you know, talk to your bank lender. Um, if you want to, you know, especially my military folks, you got freaking VA loan for God's sakes, take advantage, um, especially if you're in your early twenties, even if you're not, even if you're going to be stationed in various amounts of locations and whatnot, buy, buy a multifamily, look into doing that. Um, you can make money off of that. You can cash flow a property. It could be an appreciating asset. It could be a depreciating asset. Heck, you can use your VA loan to buy a house in a, um, quote unquote, um, distressed property area. And you can, um, you know, basically, um, Get a house for forty to sixty thousand dollars and whatnot. Have a small, um, a small mortgage or no mortgage if you got enough money, and you know you could cash flow that for you know eight hundred to a thousand dollars a month. You know something to think about. But start you know, start looking outside of that box that people want to put you in because we know that technology is going to be taking over a lot of jobs within the next ten years, ten to twenty years. A lot of jobs will be eliminated. And a lot of education systems are just not preparing people for the jobs of tomorrow, you know. I mean, yes, jobs like software developers, you know, um, registered nurses, you know, they're not going anywhere. But a lot of jobs, you know, general uh, and operations managers, you know, financial managers, but a lot of jobs are going to be automated. Medical and health services and in all industries. I mean, heck, especially to my youth, because you're it's going to be harder for a teenager to get a job in the future coming out of high school. Great example, because we know stores like Amazon, um, grocery stores that doesn't need, basically need a staff like a normal grocery store needs. And even most grocery stores now only have two cashiers. All grocery stores now have self-checkout. And mo the Amazon grocery stores, you just put your stuff in the items and you just, I mean, you put all your items in a specific bag and then you basically just, um, just walk out the store and you're charged immediately. I mean, that's where we're at and that's where we're going. So it's, and that's going to be how it is in your targets and your Walmarts one day, you know, uh, you know, jobs like market research analysts, you know, management analysts, uh, computer and information systems manager, you know, a lot of those jobs, you know, project management, you know, business operations and things of that nature. We are going into, you know, I heard this this morning. I had to put it out there. We're going into a time where it's going to, people have no choice but to become their own boss because a lot of jobs are just not going to be needed in the future, you know. And these are the conversations. Like a lot of people are having these conversations at home, but a lot of these conversations aren't really happening. And they're happening online, but they're not really happening in the school system. So it's that unlearn, relearn, as I take from Derek Grace. We are living in that time frame whether people want to believe it or not. So that's my little rant about the miseducation of education. Take education from all levels. I can I can get educated from a book. I can get educated on the internet. I can get educated in the classroom. I can get educated in life and whatnot. And I take it all with a grain of salt. I've gotten educated from jobs, educated in the military, education on all different levels. But I, I know that nothing is one-sided. Okay. That's the thing. I know nothing is one-sided and you got to be able to think outside the box. Immigrants come to the U.S. and do it all the time. They take the education that they got from their parents, education they got from their home country, education that they get in the U.S., education that they get from life experience, and they mold it into one and they draw the analytical conclusions and they, they build the kind of lifestyle that they want to live that they don't have to take a vacation from. Because um, trust and believe, most of the people that are teaching you um, 
about various different aspects in the education system. Nine times out of 10, they're not living their best life. And nine times out of 10, they're not as happy as they could be, all right? So do the great three free things, family. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. And as always say, make money move. So you're going to live broke like a fool. Let me see something real quick. Let's see. I was gonna get my buddy to join. I need to hit him up this weekend. Kendrick, if you're still watching, man, I need to hit you up, man. It's been real busy lately, but I hope you and your family are doing well, brother. Definitely need to hit you up. I think you just joined for a second. But anyways, take care, family.